Hello friends, it's Christy and welcome to Bitly Ditly Has Plants. Today I wanted to share with you a few of the goodies that I purchased from Plum Paper when they had their Black Friday pre-sale. I've come up with a couple of harebrained ideas and I thought I'd share and get your opinion. Let's take a look. Alrighty, let's get started. First, I want to say that um, these items are just the items that I purchased for myself um, during the Black Friday pre-sale. I did order a bunch of other things, but they're gifts for Christmas, and so I'm not going to share them in this video because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, so let's get started. <clears throat> so the Plum Paper postcard that comes in all of your orders has dramatically changed. They have a whole new design and color scheme. Um, this was the one that was in my orders um, kind of over the summer and early fall, um, and now it's got a totally different look. Um, it still has their tagline, personalized for you by you. Um, I really like this new look, it's very cool. Kind of goes along with the new customizations and features that they're offering. So in the back here, um, it tells you about the custom holidays and events that you can add now to your planner. Um, you can put in your own birthdays, anniversaries, um, any special dates. Um, so that's kind of fun. It got a lot of chatter on the Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, this is also a great new option. They now do disc punching. So before you could get your planners either coil bound or not punched at all. That way you could punch them um, yourself if you were a binder user or a disc bound user. Um, so this is nice that they'll now do the disc punch. And then this third option is the one that I got really excited about. It's their new color scheme. It's called Modern. Um, it's now available for just the 7 by 9 planner, so you can't get it in the smaller or larger size. But I'm so excited because I chose this color scheme for my new planner that I'm going to show you in a minute. All right, and then the next postcard you get um, tells a little bit about their monthly drawing that they do. Um, you just follow them on Instagram at Plum Paper, and then you post a photo of your product, um, how you customized it, why you love it. And if you uh, tag it with win plum paper they pick a winner at the first of every month and you receive a refund for the cost of the product you posted so that's kind of fun and then in the back they just kind of tell you how to take care of your planners and your notebooks keeping it cool keeping it neat with that hard plastic cover that it comes with um, keeping it clean um, just using a damp cloth to wipe it if it gets dirty and then keeping it fresh um, using interchangeable covers to kind of give you a new look um, whenever you feel like it so that's that and then also they always include a little sample of their cover material. It's water resistant, tear proof, rigid and sturdy. Um, and so you can see I've kind of played with it. This is for you to test out. It's really, you really can't rip it. At least I can't anyway. Um, and so I really like that because um, it just kind of gives you that knowledge that you've got a really nice sturdy product. Okay, now to the fun stuff. So. I ordered some fringe clips that we'll look at, an A5 notebook, and my 7x9 planner. So let's look at these clips. Aren't they so sweet? Fringe is so popular right now. My younger daughter has a pair of really cute fringe earrings, and they're really kind of sassy. I love these colors. They're just so sweet. I, I, and I love the gold, too. So it's just sort of like an um, embroidery floss fringe. So... Really cute. You can use them as bookmarks by just clipping a couple of pages together in a notebook or your planner, um, or as you would normal paper clips, clipping, um, you know, work papers together, that kind of thing. So I'm excited to put these to good use. So I just love these happy colors. Alrighty. So I'm going to move my planner to the side because let's talk about my notebook first. Look at how chunky she is. She's so cute. Okay. Let's start with the cover. So just like your planners, um, it has this hard, clear plastic cover. It keeps the decorative cover um, kind of protected from getting scratched and whatnot. I mean, I showed you the sample of the material. This is pretty sturdy, um, but this is just like a, an added layer of protection. So my cover is the nautical, which fits me perfectly because I love all things nautical. Um, navy is my favorite color. It's my basic color um, as opposed to black. Um, I did get the A5 size, as I mentioned, and I did get the cover to be interchangeable. So they snipped it there. So I can remove it and change it out if I felt like it, if I just wanted a fresh look. Um, inside, you get your cover page, just like in the planner. I was really surprised that the notebooks, you'll see, have a lot of the same pages that the planners do, such as special dates, 
So you get 12 boxes, for each, uh, one for each month, um, for special dates like birthdays, anniversaries, that kind of thing. And then you get 12 blank boxes for ideas, plans, and goals. And then what I did was my notebook is a lined notes notebook. So it's tabbed and then it's just lined paper. Other options that you can get notebooks in are um, like plain sketch paper um, and then a dot grid. Um, and so there's 60 pages of lined notes pages. So just basic lined. And then I added on a tabbed to do section. Um, this is really cool. It has basically just double sided pages of to do lists. And what I did was I added, I think it's 60 of these. So there's different options. You can add 10, 20, etc. So I chose 60. So I'd have 60 lined, 60 um, to do lists. And so that's what all of this is. And so my thought is, I wanna make this notebook kind of like my grocery shopping notebook. Um, normally I just grab whatever notebooks available in the house and I write my grocery list. Uh, this is the one I currently pulled out of my purse. It was like a six pack from Staples that I brought my kids. You can see it's totally tattered. Um, we ordered some pizza and I think we ordered some sandwiches one night and I just tear through these notebooks and so I thought, let me get a cute one with like a to-do list. I shop weekly at our local commissary. Um, I do a weekly Costco run. And then kind of in between those, if I need to, I'll go to the Safeway or the Rayleigh's. Um, and so I thought it'd be cool because I can like mark, this is what I need from the commissary, or I could mark up here Costco and the items that I co commonly buy from Costco. So I kind of want to try that out. Um, after you get through my 60 to-do list pages, this is a lot, I know. This, notebook I think is going to last me. Um, you get like a single blank page. This is kind of just the end of the book, similar to how it is in your planners. And then look, the notebooks actually come with the pocket folder. I totally didn't expect this. Um, it's two-sided. It's just like the one in um, the planners. It's a nice heavy cardstock. And then I added a um, final page protector. I really like these. I have one in my current planner. And so I wanted to get one in this size because um, I don't have one. Um, and if I want to take it out and move it, I can always just snip it and put it in another notebook. Um, but it's great, you know, just like the pocket folder here for just holding receipts, papers, kids are always bringing home flyers from school, that kind of thing. Um, and so I added that. And then the back of the cover is just the nautical stripes again. And again, the clear um, plastic back cover. So. Here's my harebrained idea. Because I wanna use this as sort of my shopping grocery list kind of notebook, what I thought was in my wellness planner, this is my wellness um, notebook, I added a meal section. And what I didn't realize when I ordered this book was that the wellness piece of it is only for four months. Um, but the meal section that I added on is good for 52 weeks or the whole year. And while it has this um, kind of notes area where I could put um, a little bit of a grocery list, that's not enough space for me. My grocery lists um, are a lot bigger than that. Um, like I said, I try to go only once a week. So I'm, I'm really stocking up when I do go. And so what I thought I'd do is I would uncoil this, take the meal section out of here and add it into this book. That way I could have it as a complete meal planning, grocery shopping, all-in-one kind of notebook. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like, I could maybe try to do the video of my uncoiling it and putting it back together um, as, a, as a grocery notebook. So that's harebrained idea number one. Um, and that's pretty much it for my cute little A5 um, notebook. Again, I love her. She's so cute. Okay, so the final item that I got was my planner. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this is the 7x9 vertical hourly planner. Um, you get the hard plastic cover on the outside. And then my cover that I chose was the snowfall cover. Um, I customized it with the little quote that says there's snow place like home. And so the reason why I picked this kind of wintry cover is because I got it to be interchangeable. You can see here. Um, and what my intent to do is take this cover off and use it on my current book for the months of December and January. Um, so that's my cover. Look at the little snowman. Isn't he sweet? Okay, and so here's your cover page where you can put your name. 
Um, it says weekly planner personalized for you by you. Again, that's kind of their motto. Um, and then you flip to the 2021 year at a glance and then you get 2022 um, year at a glance. I love that you get two years um, being a meeting planner. This really helps with future planning with my meetings. And then here are the special dates, January through December. I noticed that the color of these boxes are different um, in the new modern color scheme versus um, what's in my current colorful. So you can kind of see the difference there. There's kind of the top and there's the bottom. Um, and then you get another set of special dates pages, um, again, in that new modern color scheme. Um, also something different here in my current book, this says goals, plans, and ideas. Um, and so this is just another special dates. Of course, you can use it for however you want, listing projects, um, listing routines, that kind of thing. Um, and then you get to the month tabs. Um, currently, I have a mid-year planner going from July to June. Um, sometimes I flip-flop back and forth. Sometimes I'm on the annual schedule, kind of going January through December, um, and then I get kind of off because maybe mid-year through the year I buy a new planner. Um, but this one is for um, July through June of next year. Um, you'll see that each of the month tabs have a different color, um, and I really like that. And so this is July through the December. And then what it does is it repeats. So I'll show you if you can see here. Um, you can see July and January are the same colors. And then February, August, kind of a teal, March, September, and then April and October, peach. And then you get a gold and then kind of a gray. And so I don't mind that it repeats. I like that each tab has its own color for six months and then you kind of repeat it again. I like that. A little bit better than um, my current book you'll see there's just like a ton of green and then we get into like a lot of purples and then it goes to like three months of peach kind of color and so i kind of like having um, the different colors each month um, another thing that i noticed that's different in this colorway is that the month is actually spelled out down here in the corner on the index tab in my current book it just has the um, first initial of the of the month Okay, so flipping into the highlights page. This is also different. The three circles up here in the current book say goal one, goal two, and goal three. These are just left blank here. Um, and then birthdays, events, and things to remember. You get a blank notes page here, and then you turn into your two page month at a glance spread. Um, you have the following month down here in the corner. So there's August. Um, and then you flip right into the first week. Um, so something that Plum Paper Planner does is these three days, the 28th through the 30th, are the last few days in um, the previous month, which would be June, and so they're kind of grayed out. And then once the months start here with the first, um, then it takes on the color of the monthly tab. Um, and so these are the first couple of days here of July. Um, and so that's kind of something they do for every month. Another thing that you'll notice if you're not familiar with Plum Paper is that weeks will repeat. So at the end of the month, I'll show you the last week of the month. Um, you'll see these. this is the end of July and then it gets to August 1st. Well, once you flip to the beginning of August, you'll see that same week repeats. So these are the last few days of July. Now they're grayed out because th this is now the August tab. And then you see the color come for August 1st. The reason they duplicate that is because you can start your planner any month of the year. And so they kind of have to have every week with behind each tab. And so that's why it does that. Um, what I do is I decide, okay, there are more colored days on this spread, so I will use this one versus this one. So what I'll do when I get to August is I'll skip this two page spread and I'll just start August here where the color dates start. Um, some people will glue these pages together just so they can flip right to it. Um, I just leave it open, I just use it as extra notes pages or scratch paper um, so it doesn't bother me that way. Um, but so here you are again back to the first um, the last week of July, I'll go through and you can see um, just every week is colored. So we get to, so that's the first week, second week, third week, fourth week, etc. And so all of these areas, so above here in the sidebar and then down here, these can all be customized. 
I don't do that because I just kind of like to leave it open. Um, sometimes I say this week up here, sometimes I'll put to do or don't forget. Usually I fill this in with like a full box and a quote. Um, I typically track dinners down here, but I like to leave it blank just in case I want to switch it up. Um, but you can totally customize it. I do a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. start. That's also something you can customize. I think you can do like 8 to 8 or 6 to 6. Um, but 7 to 7 kind of tends to, to round out most of my days. Um, and then something that I added, I did a monthly cleaning page. Um, you'll see kitchen and dining, living room, bedrooms, bathrooms, office, bonus room. And on the back side, they're just blank so you can fill in whatever you want. Um, if you happen to catch my video on my Instagram TV, um, I am starting a homekeeping notebook because I am following kind of the clean mama's routine. I'm going to give her a shot. Um, but I figured let's just add this monthly cleaning page. It's dispersed through each month throughout my planner um, just in case having a separate planner doesn't work out. And then I'll have this um, in this book. Um, and then I did also add a um, dispersed to-do list. Um, it's double-sided. It's blank, so I can put whatever header I want there. Um, I just like the to-do list. So I thought, let's just put one in there. Let's see if we use it and, and how it works out. Um, and so then here's August. This is a beautiful color. I like this. And again, I won't flip through every page, but you have the highlights, a notes page, and your month spread, etc. So let's flip through to September just so you can see the colors. October is a peach. Um, November is kind of this gold color. And then December is this gray. And then, like I said, we repeat back to that dark blue in January. So we'll flip through to the end of the book. I added a tabbed add-on. So there's several different tabbed add-ons that you can do, and this comes in the back of the book. This is just a notes section. Again, with lined notes pages, I added, uh, I think I added 10 pages. Um, I love lots of lined notes pages, if you can't tell. Um, and then at the end of every planner, there's two dot grid pages. There's a contacts page. I actually convert this into a gift giving guide. Um, and so I will, um, white out these here and I'll put names of each of my family members. I put their sizes, I put their interests or hobbies, that kind of thing. So it helps me with um, buying gifts. And then there's a passwords page and then 2023. Um, and then every planner has a double-sided um, folder, again, in the back little pocket folders made out of that nice kind of thick card stock. And then I added a vinyl page protector. I like having these in the back of my planners. I put my stickers in here for the month um, so that I always have them handy. And then we get to the back cover. Again, it's that snowfall scene. And then the back kind of hard, clear plastic cover. Okay, so here's my harebrained idea number two. I told you I had two crazy ideas. What I'm thinking of doing is because this is 2021 to 2022, what I wanna do is I'm thinking of taking apart my current book, taking the, six, the first six months of 2021, so January through June, uncoiling it and coiling it together with the last half of 2021. That way I have all of 2021 in one book I can set 2020 aside, because don't we all just want to put this whole year behind us? Um, and then I can kind of get myself back on a full calendar year cycle with my planner. Um, what I would do next year is probably, because I have these six months here starting with 2022, I would probably order an 18-month calendar. Um, that way I can get the um, second half of this year, and then I'd have all of 2023. I know sounds crazy i'm already planning out what book i'm going to get for 2023 um but that's what i'm thinking of doing so let me know what you think is that crazy is it brilliant um i do kind of want to get onto um, a full calendar cycle so that i have the full year in one book um so let me know your thoughts on that so there you have it that is pretty much my black friday haul from plum paper i've got my little notebook my planner and my cute little french clips um so there you go uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you sharing your time with me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can be alerted to future content that I post. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.